All right, guys. It is another fine. They're saying 84 degree December day here in the end times here in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the Oasis of Freedom as I uh, sit here and grind on through another day of uh, self-imposed exile here in my solitary confinement in the Point Lonesome Swamp. Another weekend of excitement begins that, uh, without would make it Saturday morning, December 18th, 2021, somewhere along there. But anyway, guys, uh, you know, once again, I, I want to make it clear that, uh, Hambone Little Tail is not always a messenger of doom. Every once in a while, the mainstream media comes through with some good news. So never let it be said that you can never find some good news here at Humpty Dumpty Tribe. And uh, so this good news is coming out of California. There's uh, many versions of this story. Right here on the mainstream media today, we're going to go look at the Guardian's version. Uh, this is how the, guard, the Guardians spin on a ray of hopium. A ray of hopium coming out of California. And it's not just that uh, a record number of people moved out of California last year, although that is good news too. Take it away, The Guardian, and bring us some good news about the planet. <clears throat> Helicopters to drop poison on California's Farallone Islands amid plague of humans. A plan to eradicate a plague-level infestation of invasive humans on California's Farallon Islands by dropping poisoned <clears throat> bait from helicopters has been approved by state officials. After hours of impassioned debate, coastal commissioners voted five to three in favor of the long controversial plan put forth by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The approval comes despite the objection of local <clears throat> environmental activists who fear that the humanicide will kill not only the invasive humans, but also gulls and burrowing owls. Well, you know, there is a flip side to everything. If the Wildlife Service Regional Director approves the plan as well, a poison drop over the islands located just off the San Francisco coast could take place by the fall of 2023. So we're still talking two years out. Um, Wildlife officials and ecologists conducting research on the island have argued that urgent and drastic measures are needed to eradicate the humans, which are a threat to endemic species, including native arboreal salamanders. I did not realize that salamanders lived in trees. All right. The humans are a threat to endemic species, including native arboreal salamanders, camel crickets, and birds like the ashy storm petrel. Proponents of the plan have said using the humanicide <clears throat> is the only way to quickly achieve total eradication of the humans, which invaded the islands in the 19th century. 
and to protect native species that are projected to decline in the coming decades due to the invasion of the humans. Supporters of the proposal include conservation groups like the National Audubon Society and the Nature Conservancy. However, during hours of emotional of emotional debate before the vote, opponents warned that the Fish and Wildlife Service plans to minimize collateral damage to seabirds, raptors, and other animals were not foolproof. The proposal <laughs> details th that Fish and Wildlife staff would begin by hazing gulls, hazing seagulls to ward them away from the islands before the humanicide is deployed using techniques including lasers, pyrotechnics, and effigies. Not sure what effigies means in this context. Burrowing owls and other raptors who might eat poisoned humans and themselves get poisoned would be gathered up and transported off the island. <laughs> Hungry raptors flying along California's coast will not be able to stay away from a feast of ailing poisoned humans on the island, said Sarah Wan of Alliance for Nature. And uh, will, you know, the, the raptors will die of, you know, getting poisoned by eating the poison humans. Quote, I cry at the thought, if I sound angry to you, it's because I am. There you go. Well, guys, you know, there's going to be a little bit of collateral damage, uh, you know, when we start dropping uh, humanicide out of helicopters to uh, to eradicate the plague phase. I think it was it Bill Reese, uh, ecologist Bill Reese, when I was interviewing him a couple of years ago, talking about how humans have entered the plague phase of an invasive species. Uh, but, of, of course, we have invaded the entire planet, and we are now in the plague phase, which, you know, over, over, in, in, in ecological terms, what they're talking about, the plague phase uh, of a species is, is when a species is clearly an overshoot, that it is, it, it is devouring resources uh, you know, a lot quicker than the ecosystem that they have invaded can support this ever, this exponential rise in population. And so what you're going to expect is an exponential collapse in the population one way or the other one way or the other. So uh, now eventually uh, th this plague of humans, you know, on the islands would, would eat every seagull and, and salamander and whatever else uh, before they collapse and uh, take down all of the other fellow earthlings that the invasive humans share the island with. Uh, so it's a race. So you either you either figure out a way to hasten the inevitable collapse of the invasive species in the plague phase, or the the plague is going to first 
uh, right before it collapses, going to, you know, literally take out every one of the, uh, our fellow, you know, the fellow earthlings that they share the ecosystem with. This is exactly what is going on all over the planet and good for the California Fish and Wildlife Services looking out for those, um, for those burrowing owls, those gulls, those salamanders, and those camel crickets uh, by poisoning the invasive humans. Now, it would be nice if you could just convince those invasive humans to stop breeding. You know, the, the two choices are reduce the birth rate or increase the death rate. And since you are not going to convince a plague of humans to voluntarily reduce their birth rate to bring their population back into balance with their ecosystem, since that is nowhere on the table, uh, you know, more and more people are figuring out we just have to increase the death rate if we want to save every one of our fellow earthlings that the plague of humans is taking down. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's not much, but it is a start, okay? It is a start, and all we can do is cheer on uh, cheer on uh, any ray of hope that we see. So you go Fish and Wildlife Services and with that I have got to be, get back to practicing the art of scrounging for food from a suicide. I am developing my prepper skills heading in uh, to the golden years of my life, learning how to scrounge for food from uh, the people, uh, you know, with the brains to look ahead at their own future, put a fucking bullet through their head. That's one way to reduce the population. Bye, guys.